Glitch City, 27X AD. A city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to keep them in check. Over them stand... Okay, it's too fast. <laughs> Here, brutality in all its forms is an everyday reality. The quality of life for the non-powerful decreases at an alarming rate. For many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs. Some look for ways to escape this place. And others just give up. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. A small road just seconds away from the main street you can find hall a of the btc certified barcoded valhall but that's a mouthful so we just call it valhalla small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls and it's here where this story unfolds All right, welcome you guys to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Cyberpunk Bartender Action. So I've been hearing about this game for quite a while. Um, it comes highly recommended. Um, the other game I was going to LP before this was Transistor, but I was having difficulty using the mouse and keyboard and I can't find my controller. So, in the meantime, until I find my controller, I will be playing this game. Now, this game should be interesting. Uh, I, I think it's like a visual novel, but it also has other unique gameplay to it. So, I'm excited. Let's see. Uh, hopefully, let's just lower stuff just a little, just in case. Uh, okay, everything looks good. So let's continue on, or begin, I should say. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played, getting comfortable, grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back and relax, we hope you have a good time. Thank you. Okay, Anna. Hey, over here. Boo! <laughs> Is that her on the screen? How's that for an entrance? Okay, I get to do voice acting. Yay! Cyberpunk for tender action. This should be fun. I actually get to make people some drinks. Woo! Okay, let me get the feeling for all these characters before I settle on a voice for all of them. He's like glitchy though. Looks weird. Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. <laughs> I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. Really? <laughs> but remember... Life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya! Okay. Jill. <gasps> Oh, <sighs> just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera. Ooh, who made this? Latinos? You speak in Spanish now? Okay, your membership to Shining Fingered. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Game, please. Will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. 
you can now browse the augmented eye. Okay, we have until the 17th. Uh, I'm guessing this is the 13th then. Welcome, Jill, boss, and me. <laughs> okay. Oh, best boss. Hmm, you in love with your boss? Four. So, who was that letter from? Jill. Nobody. Who is four? Okay. Look at... Oh, she has a shirt that says slut. Wow. I can't interact with uh, her living environment. I have zero dollars. I am broke if I broke. Hold to unlock. Add app. Welcome, Jill. Music life backup 1.1. Is that how I save? Save. Okay. So it's kind of like a phone. Add app. Let's go in here. AE. The augmented eye. Mass emigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg in Heels returns next year. Okay. What's this? Just music? Ooh. Ooh. Lots of cool songs. Okay. I'm sure we'll hear all of them. Do we have to add an app? Not yet. Okay. Well. Settings. Everything was fine. Alright, looks like I can't do anything else, so let's just go to work then. Tuesday, December 13th. Good evening. Oh, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? Oh, <laughs> his name is Gil, she called him John. When will you let people call you Jules? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's Boss? Don't know. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, but you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Oh. There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. Oh no! So, not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four. Oh, four is her. I think, was that a cat? I think it was a cat. Neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there's all the good. There are all the beer cans around my apartment and... Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can! Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Jill's like, I know what I'm doing, but... He's like, but the player doesn't! <laughs> if you can make a piano, man, I'll skip the rest, but... Bear with me for a second here, okay? Sing us a song by the piano man, or whatever. I forgot how that song goes, but it's a good song. Billy Joel. Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Ooh, a manly drink. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. 
go. When done, press the Mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the Serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the Reset button and try again. You can press Reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. <sighs> okay. Use an navigation bar to start browsing. Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press the reset button and try again. Okay. Let's go by name. For sugar rush. A sugar rush? 150 bucks? Oh my god! What kind of drink is that? Must be the most amazing thing that you don't even pee out at the end of the night. <laughs> I am spending all 150 ba uh, bucks on something that's just gonna leave my body right away. Okay, two Adelhide and one Powder Delta Ooh, excuse me. with optional Carmotrine. All mixed. Sweet, light, and fruity, as girly as it gets. That sounds like my, my, my kind of drink. <laughs> girly. Sweet, girly, happy. Alright. One. Two. One powder delta. And optional. Mix. How long do you mix it for? Fail? How long do you have to mix it for? It doesn't say. Alright, let's reset. Shouldn't be hard. But it doesn't say how long you're supposed to mix it for. Mix just a little. Oh no! I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. Mix. Hey, just a little mix, not a lot. Sugar Rush, serve. Here, happy now? A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. <sighs> I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. Ooh, icy cold drink. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. Oh, so that I was accidentally blending it. Gotcha. Even though it's not a blender, but okay. <laughs> you can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Oh, how do you age it? Check ice and age buttons on the side to select the one you need. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks weeds. On the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted that the station will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind though, just a fun fact. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's give Gil a moon blast. Blend drinks need to be left to mix for at least 5 seconds before I stop the shaker. Moon Blast. 180! Oh my lord! And <laughs> he's getting it for free. <laughs> Moon Blast is 6 Adel High, 1 Powder Delta, 1 Planner Guide, and 2 Carmotrine. All on the rocks and blended. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Sweet, girly, happy. Okay. 1. two. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, uno, 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 dos. Alright, What? Why did that fail? It was going faster! Okay, this game is a little picky, isn't it?
maybe I had to add the ice before I mix it. I thought he said it comes after. Okay. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> it's fine now. I let it go extra long and I just selected the ice anyway. Alright, serve. Here, did I amuse you for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional caramotrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional caramotrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Caramotrine is an alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. Oh yeah, how drunk do you want to get? <laughs> If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey guys! Oh, but Eh? What the? Is there some, uh, Yuri going on here? But who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping, and now she's clinging to me all needy. <laughs> Ooh. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Oh, so she was actually unconscious. Okay. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have to work. We have work to do, damn it. There are two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> do you think Chief knocked her out? <laughs> oh my god. Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? While well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. Like, actual dogs? You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. Do I actually have to clean the bathrooms too at some point? <laughs> With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Okay, we get to select the music. Hey, it's an actual thing. You can remove them by right-clicking their title or swap two songs by clicking on both. I think that one is too quiet. Not good for like a party atmosphere. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, this one's cool. I like the title, too. Alright, that should be fine. Alrighty. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, you. Give me a beer. Do I have to actually mix beer? Can I just give it to him from a bottle? <laughs> Oh, sure. Right on it. Wants a beer. That's like quite the big guy, though. Okay. Is it a bottle drink, actually? Bottle? Fedora, what? Let's just go buy beer. I have to actually make a beer? Okay. Uh, one of this. Two Bronson. One Powder Delta. Two Flamer Vine. Four. Oh, wow. This is a complicated mixture, huh? All mixed. Success. Traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Bubbly, classic, vintage. Here you go. No, no. This isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. So I have to double it? Uh-oh. Um... Sure. How can I double it if it's already big? That beer wasn't enough, apparently. How do I... Um, that's one plus two. It's three, four, five, six. That's ten already. He said ten, uh, more than ten. Oh, dear. Oh, but it will make him drunker. But I could top it off to make it bigger? Oh, no. He said Carmotrine doesn't make it bigger. Shoot. So I gotta double it? Two, six, seven, eight. That should be really big. Alright. How about this one? Ah, yes. Now this one's fit for a man like me. Right. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Oh, shut up, douche. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes. Like New Jersey 3. Oh. Huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? Donovan, huh? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Oh, that's in our app. Our phone. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So, you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids, okay? Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news. Just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. Ugh, you're so... ugh. Watch him become a regular or something, and I have to deal with him every single time. <laughs> and second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. 
I don't need to add Glitch City's lonely citizens to the list. Glitch City. I hear that girl at the beginning was kind of glitchy. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get desensi- desensi- desensitized? <laughs> People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Ugh. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Oh my god. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. Ugh. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money. And like I said, money's good. Huh. I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic, too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. Oh my gosh, this game is gonna be bold, isn't it? The worst part about that is that they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, uh, shit. Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. Oof. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if you actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. What? Then what was the point? I even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks, saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? <laughs> no. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Beer again. I'm guessing another big one, right? This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. Okay, there we go. Go ahead. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So, tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. Ew, is that really how it smells? Well, she did say there were dogs in here. <laughs> I'm doing my best here, thank you very much! Sorry, my guy's voices are limited, but <laughs> whatever. Who was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. Right. <laughs> You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. 
especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love, fall from grace? What do you think that gossip is that gossip about famous people always sells? He has a point. People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer, to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals, or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. <laughs> Why do people do that? To me, it would feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. She didn't deny it. <laughs> I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. And what I'm wondering, do we only have one customer we have to deal with each night? Like this? You know, like really extended? Or are we gonna get multiple people coming and going? But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two can play that game of... Hmm? Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? Uh-oh, what's he want? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. Ooh. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway, eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. D did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. What? 
<laughs> Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Okay, calm your tits, sir. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss. To me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Okay. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, uh, yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remembered I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter. And big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Can we? Bitter, big, with no alcohol at all. Alright? Hmm. By type. Classy. Hmm. Good flavor? Let's go by bitter. Let's see, gut punch? Optional, Karmatrine. Better manly strong. That might work? Because Karmatrine is the actual alcohol, right? Karmatrine, Karmatrine, Karmatrine. Piano man. Piano woman, power driver. Sparkle star. I think the one I, I chose first makes the most sense, because it's optional. Yeah. It's supposed to be in a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Bitter, manly, strong. Let's do it. You said big, so I have to double it. Aged. Okay. And mixed. There we go, gut punch. There you go. Paint me blue and call me Sue. You can actually do it. This will help me stay up late tonight. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. Ah, he likes us now. He might be a regular. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something even worse than that. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they find offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently they told me that they needed more clicks. MORE CLICKS! They make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. 
I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Peace, I'm out. Should I be worried? Nah. I must keep paying before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. I never heard from him again. Jill! <laughs> yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The ceiling. The sinks. The toilets. The vents. You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. <laughs> I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Oh! Um... What's slot one? Can I save? I don't know. But anyway, guys, I need to leave this episode right here. Looks like I can't just save and leave it whenever I want. Um, it's been going on quite a while. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm enjoying it so far. The actual mixing drinks part is pretty fun. And uh, who knows, we'll probably get some more interesting clients soon. Alright, so until next time, hope you have a nice day. Bye bye! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to ring the bell for notifications for new episodes. You can follow me on Twitch, where I stream every week, and also follow me on Twitter for updates. Until next time, have a nice day. Adios!